Hello everybody, my name is Silverland, and this is Port of Call. So apparently I'm still on my um, kick of free games on Steam, and this one also has a little bit of uh, mystery and uh, a little bit of intrigue. So I thought I'd give it a quick shot, I've not played this whatsoever, so I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, so if I start running around in circles, um, hello? Oh, okay. Broken lamp. The lamp looks broken. Well, yeah. No point in messing with it. But I want to mess with it. Maybe... Ah, oh, there you are. Um. Hello? Oi. Oh. Oi, you there. You're late. Um, late, late for what? Where am I? Where, where the hell did you come from and who are you? There we go. Mind your manners, and Get never on. you mind. Come on now. We have a lot of work to do. See me in the bridge. On board with you. On board. Ah! He hello? What did... Ah, you. All right, then. Okay. So, yes. As I was trying to say before I was rudely interrupted by disappearing, reappearing man as well as tugboat... Hang on. Where did the... Where did the thing go? Hello? Oh, I'm stuck. Um, yes, I just um, found it on Steam, thought, yep, yeah, why not? Looks pretty not too bad, so I thought I'd give it a shot and see what it looks like. Weirdly enough, I do actually really quite happy, quite liking the art style here. Hello? Yeah. And that leads to nothing. Great. Okay. So, I wondered what was moving then. All right, okay, so we've got the captain. Captain? 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 Oh, did I just do that? Maybe. Captain, I'm not going to talk to you again because, yeah, you're weird. Lines and shapes. Wouldn't have pegged him for an art guy. Him? I'm assuming you mean the captain. Who the, who the heck is he? Why is he so tall? I mean, I'm tall, but seriously. Maybe we're out in the middle of the Atlantic. Um, or not? A rotary phone. It's a shame this thing is an antique. Why is that a shame? Ooh, books. Look, books. Oh, I can break the books. Ah, ha, 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 ha. There you go. Have a look. Ha, 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 ha. Causing mess everywhere. What's that one? Ooh, hello. Captain's logged. Grouch doesn't seem very expressive on paper. Ooh. Ooh. Postcards. Who sends postcards to this guy? Yeah. That's a very good question. Negotiating with children 101. He's not great with other ages either. Other age? What? Crumpled paper. Doesn't seem written on. So, so why have crumpled paper? Oi. Dude. Alright. To business. I assume you know how to do your job. Um, no. Get to it, then. I'm the captain of this here hunk of scrap. I'll have no more dilly-dallying. Well, what about just a little bit of dillying? Or maybe a little bit of dallying? What are you talking about? That's probably aimed at me rather than him. Great! You've, they've sent me another idiot. I haven't the time to hold your hand while you learn to pick your nose. I know how to pick my nose. I learned that when I was a very, very young man person. I have a ship to run. I guess I can start you off with a simple task, though. It's not too hard for your wee little brain. Wee? Are you Scottish? There's a little girl in the first cabin on the left. Go get her ticket. The little brat won't let me come within a foot of her without squealing like a babe. You definitely sound Scottish. Come back to me when you're done. And if you're feeling a bit lost, feel free to come back and chat. I'll take care of you. <laughs> All right. That. Ooh, ooh, shadow people. Hello, shadow people. Hello, how are you? Oh, I can walk through the shadow people. Great. That's not weird. Oh, okay, these rooms are now decorated. C can I come in? Mirror. Cutesy, but it doesn't do its job. How can... Oh. Bye, mirror. <laughs> ball and cup. Ah, uh, ball and cup. I like ball and cup. Good game, Bull and Cup. 
Cerulean Crayon. Oh, okay, I picked it up. Right, okay. Lollipop. Ew, looks like somebody dropped this lollipop. Don't think it's going to eat it. Well, you know, floor lollipops. There's something creepy about this chest. How about the fact that it's giant and there are floating books around it? Mad. Ah, oh, it doesn't look inhabited. I'm just going to carry on collecting crayons. Toy train, choo-choo, I guess. I'm a bit too old to be playing with toys. Well, yeah, I suppose. Ugh, the ticking on these things always drives me nuts. The only thing i found with ticking is that you only actually notice the ticking every now and again, and then you kind of don't. So, come on then, little girl. <laughs> ah! What's wrong with your face? I mean that in the nicest possible way. Don't eat me. Really wasn't going to. Oh, who are you? Um, the ferryman sent me? The boogeyman sent you? Are you going to eat me? I'm really, really not. I'm not a kid. I hate it when Marcus calls me that. Who's Marcus? I'm almost six and a half, thank you. Are you a scary friend of the boogeyman? Uh, he's a grouse, but he doesn't look like a monster. He stomps around and makes weird noises. Definitely sounds like me. That's scary and weird. Still sounds like me. You're not a... Uh, yeah, yeah, you're not normal. Um, speaker weird, why are you here by yourself? Oh, whoops, I completely skipped that one. I was playing with Ted's. Uh, I'm assuming the teddy bear. Ted's is the bestest bear in the world. He's my best friend. Last time I saw him, we were playing together and hiding from Marcus. Could you find Ted's? Of course I can. Oh, shadow people. Sh uh, shadow people again. Don't like shadow people. They're weird. So we have to find Ted's. Teddy bear. Okay. Yeah, sure. I like teddy bears, so... There we go. Found teddy bear. Turn off the lamp. Yeah, we, we need to save electricity on this here boat. Ship. Boat. Boat. Okay, so... Um, all right. Uh, 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 yeah, turn off that. Ha ha ha. Okay. Shh, shh. Yes. Pagoda Bridge. I never had the chance to really travel. Okay. Good for me. Black and orange. Flames or a scaly surface? Um... No, neither. Or both. Or all. No. I'm not exactly great on my art. <laughs> there you go. Have a teddy bear. Ah. Last thing I remember is me, Marcus and Ted were playing together and my dad were gone. Please, please, no, no scary children laughs. Uh, who is Marcus? Marcus is my big brother. He's nice and funny and silly and a dork. We're playing hide and seek when... Well, if you stopped interrupting her, she might finish. The three of us were playing hide-and-seek, Marcus, Ted's, and me. Marcus was the seeker. Ted's had a great idea of a hiding spot, so I listened to him. And where did you hide? We went to hide with the rest of Ted's friends in the toy chest. I climbed in, but the lid fell down, and it got dark. I got scared. The wooden lid was too heavy. I couldn't lift it off. Uh, where was Marcus? I don't know. I called for him. I think he was upstairs. It was so dark, and I couldn't breathe. And then it hurt. Why didn't Marcus find me? Uh, um, that's kind of taken a really, really, really weird turn. I'm sure he looks for you. Yeah, he always liked being a seeker. I just don't know why he didn't find me. Do you think he wanted to find me? Um, yeah, I, uh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. We'll continue being nice to you. I remember hearing him call for me. I hope I see his darky. Oh, dorky face again someday. Wait, hello? Where are you? Um. Um. Okay. Can I open the... Can I... Can I open the... No, I can't open the chest. Well, that was... A little bit weird and... a. Almost depressing. Hello, giant man. 
I guess you're not completely inept. Thanks! I think quite sure that was written on my school reports as well. Girl lady, uh, the girl leading made it sound like she was dead. Who was that girl? What's she doing here? Um, who was the girl? Do I look like a care? It doesn't matter. She's dead, and so is most everyone on this wreck. Oh, okay. That's... So, this is... So, you're the ferryman for the River Styx. Uh, anyway, i got another job for you now, laddie. Didn't know the ferryman was Scottish. Use the lift at the end of the hallway. I don't remember seeing one. And go talk to the drunkard at the bar. Can't understand a thing the fat man says. I don't have time for any more of your stupid questions. That's charming, that. I don't have stupid questions. Maybe you have... Don't answer my... Yeah. You heard. All of it. Okay. So this is now a lift. They're not stupid questions. They're... Uh, you're just not providing stupid. I'm gonna find. I'm gonna think of a comeback. You, you wait. In two or three weeks, I'm gonna think of the perfect comeback for this. Abstract flowers. At first glance, I thought it was just a painting of crumpled paper. Maybe it's both. Ooh. See what I did there? Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I? Can I start throwing things? Oh, what? What was that? Hello. Cup. It's a cup for drinking things. Not terribly exciting. Speak for yourself. And cups extremely exciting. Jukebox. No list of songs. I'll have to try my luck. Um, play the f next song on the jukebox. All right. That's not noise. No, that's not music. Oh. There we go. Okay, so I'm assuming I'm going to pretend to be barman. Draft full sets. Oh, I wonder if they. Oh, yeah. Actually, I could have a nice beer. Again, I'm gonna have to ask, what is wrong with your face? Now, this is vinyl. Oh, oh there you are. What kind of service is this? It's been waiting ages, you know? Um, do I know you, old man? I'm just here to collect a ticket. What are you talking about? The ferryman <laughs> sent me. He, he, did he now? That old. Curmudgeon? Curmudgeon. Must have got a sick and a nagging. Well, how about it then? Want to serve me, serve an old man a drink? Oh, I pressed something. Sorry. Ah, it's not really that. You just should be taken with me, is it now? Let's try another way. Maybe a drink. I'll think about giving you a ticket. Hmm? Guess you're not really giving me a choice. Cheer up, son. A little drink never hurt anyone. Let's see. Let's start by something. A gin and tonic. Oh, God, not gin. Uh, right. Um, okay, so that this... Right, so glass. Glass? Sorry, I didn't... Uh, glass? Uh, oh, the glass is gone. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, we'll, we'll try again. Um, there you go, cup. That's how you serve gin and tonic, right? In a cup. Um, um, right, what do we got? Juniper Delight, Bearded Sailor, Potato Riot, Lim Orange, Simply Queen... Not your pop soda pop. Um, Juniper delight. There we go, and soda. No, um, no, I didn't want that. Oh, well, I didn't know if I, I want to put it back. Can I put it back? No, I can't put it back. All right. Then. Um, do I need to do this? Ugh. There. That's not what I asked for. Come on now, son. It's not hard. I'll try again. I will try again. So, Juniper Delight. Uh, um, wait, he said tonic, right? So, Queen? Yeah, there we go. There you go. For such a sour person, you sure know how to make a drink. Now then, why don't you tell me about yourself? Um... I'm probably dead. <laughs> well, you don't look quite dead to me, son. But if that's so, you're in pretty good company. Most everyone on the ship's been dead for some time now. Well, except for the grouch in the raincoat. No one's sure, quite sure about him. 
How can I tell if I'm dead? Now that's a silly question, only you can answer. It's different for everyone. Give it some time though, I'm sure you'll figure it out. Ah, that's a story I've not told in a long time. R2-D2 is going to slide in any minute now. Not one with a particularly happy ending either. Well, it all depends. Are you sure you want to hear it? I... Uh, yeah, go on then. I had a daughter once a long time ago. So I say she died in an accident when she was young. Wait, it's not the same daughter that I've just rescued. Broken hearts. It was only me and my son then. And then you drank yourself to death. Oh, that's a great father. Well done. Now then, how about another drink? Um, rum and cola. Right. This one I know. This one I know. I've got cola. And rum will be bearded sailor. There we go. Easy. <sighs> that's what I'm talking about. You may not have the gab of a barkeep, but your drinks almost make up for it. Now, what were we talking about? I can't even call oh. it. Oh, don't worry about that too much. Things like that have a tendency of floating back around. Get it? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's, it's funny. <laughs> All right. Vodka and orange juice. Weird. Drinks, vodka, and orange juice. Come on, then. Thanks, Marcus. Is that me? Am I Mar Marcus? I think I'm going to take a nap now. Um, wait, what did you call me? Oh, okay. Bye then. So apparently I'm currently collecting tickets for the ferryman to probably take us to the underworld. Yeah, right, that's weird. I still really like the art style. It is bizarre. It's kind of... I don't know how to describe it. Other than a little bit weird and still... Yeah, I still quite like it. So, this boat is full of uh -huh. dead people. Right. Well, I don't have time to humor your every fancy right now. Just one fancy. Choppy waters require my full... Wait a minute! The hell is that woman doing out on the bow? Oi, you there! Get off my bow! You're blocking the view. Bloody girl's not listening. Go out there and make her move. Alright, is she the magical disappearing lady? Hello, magical disappearing lady. Wait, you are a lady? Yes, you're a lady. Okay. You, you seem to have a little bit of something on your... It's fine. Hello. You're the first person I've seen on this ship who doesn't look dead. Thanks. That's nice, but your face is blurry. Why are you here? Um, um, isn't everyone that's dead supposed to be dead? A ship is supposed to be dead? They are dead. We're all dead. We're all dead, Dave. At least I thought we were all... We all were until I saw you. I wonder, have you talked to the ferryman? Yeah, that's kind of why I'm here. He's me, uh, uh, how is he not dead? He's a cantankerous old man. Why exactly are you here? Um, we got that one. I see. Well, he's the captain of the ship, not a passenger. He takes travelers to their destination, wherever that is. He doesn't reach it until he's received all the tickets from the passengers. I'm waiting for someone to board the ship, so I've been holding on to my ticket. Someone, I don't see anybody else on the ship. Yes. I can't remember exactly who he is or how he will get here but i will wait for him i just can't remember what he looks like um yeah have a wonder uh there are innocent delusional pessimistic i believe one is a shadow of a person i'm looking for yeah the black silhouettes the shadow people i mean shadow in a mere figurative way there's people that you cannot see are people you do not know. This person is someone I know, but he is not his whole self. <laughs> I've seen any dismembered passengers. Yeah, he's missing a large part of himself. Shadow feels like an embodiment of negativity. His mask haunts me. Did the person help you remember who you were looking for? I didn't speak to him long. He didn't have anything helpful to say, mostly hurtful. Oh, charming. 
cannot see his face as he's wearing a mask like the others. He does not sound like a very nice guy. I don't think I met this guy. He is not very nice. So why are you waiting for him then? I don't think you would have. He's below the main deck in the boiler room. The elevator is lost. Sometimes, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Can you help me get down there? I can hardly move anymore. This mask weighs on me so. Oh, so it is a mask. It's supposed to be a mask. Right. So my question about what is wrong with your face is somewhat apt. Doesn't seem heavy. What's up with the mask anyway? Yeah, let's go with that. <clears throat> Seems we are identity as we travel on the ship. I don't feel like my body has any weight, but the mask burden me. Okay. Move. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, I don't apparently I'm choking on nothing. Think about the person who is who is the person you're waiting for? Dot dot dot. He's the one who waited for me in the hospital. I don't know how long I've been here. But it seems like I'm more familiar with the ship than any place else. I see. Can you remember anything else about him? I see the mask of the man in the boiler room. I don't know why, but it's tormenting me. Maybe the ferryman has answers. No, he cannot help me. Find the boilerman. I'm not going to last much longer. Marcus. Wait. Am I Marcus? So I am Marcus. Right. I'll a ticket. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So on that note, I think we're going to leave it there. So check out this, um, check out Port of Call. It's a free game on Steam, and we like free things. I really like this. I might actually continue playing after this video is done. So I'll thank you everybody very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!